and we're back hey guys uh do a poll as well um so finally got some time to do a video here um doing a video on nettles right um on term two of the herbal medicine degree course i managed to um, pass my oski exam i'm gonna get my uk nurse pin you know i've been going through um, quite a couple of arduous months but thankful and i'll give thanks and praise all right so right into it so this is our british nettle stinging nettle variety um scientific name ortica doica from the family orticaceae right this is it um very hot hotter than the nettles that we have in the caribbean here this british variety um so it's from the Orticaceae family, all right, which in, it really means nettles and pelletary of the wall in the, in the UK, all right? Um, it's just from the specific, specific Latin name from the fact that plants are diocesia, you know, which means male and female flowers are on different plants um, and it's unmistakable due to the stinging trichomes so the trichomes are those fine white kind of needle shaped parts there that um, you cannot see those are what um, causes the, the stinging and I'm um, right here in Stockport um, Greater Manchester UK there's a lot of stinging at all so I usually use them to to make to make tea I remember I'm um, learning from the herbal medicine degree course that I um, also can make soup, nettle soup also. So that's um, very interesting. So the constituents of the, the nettle are flavonoids, which are anti-inflammatory, anti right? And anti-oxidative. -oxy so here you have nettle nettles again. And I uh, also have phenolics, essential oil, fatty acids, including linoleic and carotenes, vitamins C, B, K, minerals, calcium, iron, magnesium, sodium, phosphorus, and potassiums. And uh, also in the trichomes, you have acetylcholine histamine, which is, uh, as you would know, for anti anti-allergy right so uh, nettle is also an anti-allergen all right and the seronin okay breaks down upon being eaten or dry so um once um you cook the nettle the the trichome the stinging part um okay that's that that's that gets disabled all right okay sort of on someone's property here so i need to be careful or tread tread carefully all right so um Few of the actions of the nettle leaves um, are anti-inflammatory, um, diuretic, okay, anti-allergy. As I said, it inhibits histamine. Okay, so um, nettles can be used in a long-term approach for uh, anti-allergy. Inhibits histamine release. Yep, and um, can be used as a galactagog, galactolog, which um, increases milk production. Um, and um, it's also a general tonic. Okay, it's um, it's much cheaper than um, dietary supplement, right? Uh, here we have, here we have them up here again, nettles, nettles again, right here. Okay, and um, then um, it's a cheaper dietary supplement than spirulone, spirulina, All right? It's a blood blood cleanser. Okay, also applicable to skin conditions right okay some of the actions of the leaves are the nettle inhibits both the action and production of pro-inflammatory cytokines so cytokines are proteins released by cells which influence the behavior of other cells right especially in response to infection and inflammation all right and this helps to reduce levels of tumor necrosis factor tumor necrosis factor um, this is a uh, pro-inflammatory right it's um, you know cytokine is implicated in inflammatory bowel disease Alzheimer's cancer and depression so cytokine causes um, causes 
those things right okay um some of the actions of the nettles seeds and roots seeds are restorative of kidneys adrenal glands right. And the roots are useful as a hair tonic, mostly applicable to prostatic problems. Um, it can help reduce symptoms of benign prostatic hypertrophy by reducing the effects, of, of effects upon the organ by um, both testosterone and estrogen. And um, there is also another plant called saw palmetto, which I've done a video on. It can also be found in St. Vincent, and even up here as a British supplement. Um, this also, in combination with the nettle roots, is um, good for prostatic hypertrophy. All right, um, and... Stinging nettles, okay, they occur across Europe, Asia, and North America, okay, they are spread by rhizomes and stolons. And uh, fun fact about stinging nettles, they have been used for fiber to make clothes for at least 2,000 years, right? Um, the cloth is still being produced from metal. Wow. That's some interesting information, and I got to find out that when the Romans came here to England, um, it was so cold um, that they, they, had to, they had to use the... The nettles to um to irritate their skin, so to help them um have have relief from the from the cold because it's quite interesting. I mean nettles, this thing is so is so hot. Um, unlike those in the Caribbean, um, we can put them in the palm of your hands, but these ones, um, if I start touching them, they'll they'll be stinging me, stinging me quite a uh, a lot. And um, from the herbal medicine degree course that I'm doing, and also the um, advanced master herbalist course I'm doing. Um, in terms of managing osteoarthritis, um, nettle, nettle um, has um, traditional um, use in anti-rheumatic. It's been an anti-rheumatic, okay? It was used in the past, okay? Fresh externally, fresh nettles externally to sting the affected joints in the process of counseling irritation, right? And this process, um, despite the initial discomfort, would bring great analgesic relief and improves movement of the joint by encouraging artificial inflammation you know, which floods the area with blood much oxygen and nutrients could be delivered to the joint and flushes waste away hence much healing encouraged so um there we have it um nettles uh it's pretty hot like i told you man pretty pretty hot if i uh, have to touch them it's gonna be pretty 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 hot so um, there you have it, um, British nettles, sting nettles, variety, British variety. All right, so um, thanks again for watching. Uh, so please like, subscribe, share. Okay, thank you.